Welcome to another video. I have a differentiation problem here and we're just gonna get into it. Let's go. So you're faced with a function y equals log to base 5 of x e to the x and you're asked to take the derivative of the function. Your brain starts spinning because it looks different from what you're used to. However, remember every exponential function, whenever you see it, try to introduce natural log to it. But this already has a logarithm and to a different base. So for you to do proper differentiation, because in calculus, what you learned was natural logarithm when it comes to differentiation and integration, you might want to convert this base to base e, which is the logarithm to base e, which we call natural log. So what I'm going to do is, before I do anything else, because I don't know what else to do, is to change the base to the natural log base. So what I'm going to do is apply the log rule. Remember, this is the rule log b to base a can be written as natural log of b over the natural log of a. Now, you could choose natural log, you could choose log to another base, it doesn't matter, but you can convert, just choose a common base and put this on top and put this under. That's what we're going to do here. So we're going to say y is equal to the natural log of x e to the x divided by the natural log of 5. And this becomes a lot easier for you to do your calculus on. So with what we have, I'm going to make you see this, that the natural log of 5 is a number. So when you're taking your derivative, don't worry about this. You don't need to do anything with this. So we're going to pull it to the side. So let's pull this. y will be equal to 1 over the natural log of 5 multiplied by ln of x e to the x. So your focus will now have to be on this. And something again shows up. Remember the laws of logarithms that says, um, one law of logarithm that says when you have a product as the argument, you can split the, the, the argument into a sum of two lo logarithms. So what we have is y will be equal to 1 over a natural log of 5 times, I can write this as ln of x plus ln of e to the x. So instead of using the product rule, you do logarithmic differentiation. So with this now, I can go ahead and say y will be equal to 1 over natural log of 5. And then we have ln of x plus, by the way, the natural log of e to the x is just x, right? Okay, pull the x to the back and ln of e is 1, so it's x times 1, so I have this to be x. Now I can take the derivative. What is y prime? Well, this is a number, so I just keep it to constant, ln of 5. What's the derivative of ln x? It's 1 over x. What is the derivative of x? It is 1. And you can leave your answer like that. Or you can simplify. If we put these two together, see what you're going to get. This is the same thing as 1 over a natural log of 5 times. This together is going to give you x plus 1 over x. So which means that y prime can be written as x plus 1 divided by x times the natural log of 5. You can leave your answer this way. Now, if you want to surprise yourself, you can write your answer this way. y prime equals x plus 1 over the natural log of 5 raised to power x. That looks wicked. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.